Hi, Vicar Jason Pancaw here. We're going to be sending you once every week throughout this 50-day journey that we're going on of God's vision for our lives, uh, one daily devotional every week. And we want them to center on the scriptures that were talked about in each week's sermon. And uh, for most of you, hopefully you were there to hear Pastor Mueller talk about God's vision for our life. And we focused in on one of the seven values of abundant living that we teach in our Body Life Basics and Delta courses. And this one was guidance. Focusing in on this is the way that life really works under God when we let him guide our lives. Not just treat God as an advisor to our lives, but we truly come under him as Lord of our lives and ask him to guide our every movement. We seek out his will and his word, and we, we seek to align our lives with the will of God for our lives. And, uh, you know, the, the, the two scriptures that Pastor really dug into, Acts 5, 12 through 20, I want to challenge you to read that, and John 20, 19 through 31. And if you remember especially uh, the story of Thomas and all that Jesus did, that's the story in the gospel, uh, to help Thomas see who he really is to prove to him. He came back the second time just for Thomas, probably for the other disciples too, but says, okay, go ahead, touch and see. If this is what you really need to believe that what I say is true and that following me with your whole life, really pressing into the, because, you know, pressing into God's mission back then meant that they were really the high potential that they would die. The church was being persecuted. It wasn't a good thing that their leader was just crucified. So are you willing to be guided in circumstances like that? And that's what Thomas was wrestling with, as were the other disciples. And then I remember those phrases, blessed are those who have not seen Thomas, but yet have believed. Blessed are those who, like us, trust by faith in Jesus Christ, that he is Lord and Savior, and that his ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. And he can be trusted. His promises are true. And if we would but follow, he would guide us to the abundant life. That's the focus of this value. And I want you to think on that this week. Am I letting God guide my life? And how can I understand that deeper? How can I submit to him in a way that brings more of his life to me and through me? Another way that I want to challenge you to consider, as Pastor mentioned in his sermon, if you'll remember, four ways that God guides us, definitely. One is through his word. Dive into the scriptures deeper. One is through prayer. One is through other brothers and sisters in Christ, empowered by the Holy Spirit, speaking God's truth into your life, helping bring wisdom and guidance to your life. And the fourth one was circumstances. How, for example, in the Acts passage, how it was pretty evident when angels showed up and said, go, and then they opened the jail doors and said, okay, circumstances said God wants us out on the streets preaching the word. That God will show you through circumstances where he wants you to go as well. So think about those four things, dive into the word, and let's become people who live under the guidance of God in increasing measure. God bless you as you do.